What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be swapping out the original build surface on my Balco 3D printer for some nice build tech. So let's get into it. First off, I just want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers. I've recently broken the 500 subscriber mark, which is absolutely awesome, and then two days later broke 510, so I don't know how that happened, but I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Also, I've noticed there's been a lot more questions down in the comments of various 3D printing videos and the like, so thank you very much for that, because then that helps out me as well as that helps out other people, so thank you very much for that. So the reason why I'm changing out the original Balco build surface for BuildTac is that I actually want to be printing some more Polymaker PC Max or Polymax PC as it's now known and um, they recommend using actually official build tech. The stuff that comes with the printer is kind of a cheap Chinese made version of it I suppose. It works really well for like PLA and anything in general but um, I was getting a few issues getting it to stick when I actually wanted to print the polycarbonate stuff. So let's get on with it. So the first thing you want to do is go into the settings and preheat the printer to the hottest setting that you've got. In my case that was ABS. This is the build tack surface that we'll be replacing the old one with. It's actually a Polymaker branded one because it came with the spool of filament that I bought. Now you want to be very careful with this step because the bed is preheated to 70 degrees and you want to avoid what I'm about to do. <laughs> yeah, please don't do that. But uh, yeah, you want to continue peeling away the surface of the bed until the whole thing is removed. So now you want to either take your 3D printer spatula or I'm actually using a razor blade holder here which works really well for this and you want to scrape off all of the glue residue that was holding the build surface in place. One little tip if you're using this same razor blade holder is I actually used it upside down and it works a lot better it doesn't dig in the bed so much. Now you want to go into the settings and hit the cool down button on your printer. Now grab your isopropyl rubbing alcohol, this is 99% rubbing alcohol, so really really good for this. And you want to just clean off the bed and make sure there's no sort of fingerprints or any residue of glue left. This will give the next build surface the best possible chance of sticking to the bed. Now this step is optional, but if you've got a surface that doesn't quite fill out the entire bed like mine does, then you'll want to mark the edges, so I'm just using a dry white marker here to mark the edges and give me a rough idea where it needs to go. Now you want to peel off the backing off of your new print surface and you want to stick down just the leading edge of one of the sides. You want to do this so you can then remove all the air bubbles later. Uh, you do this with a bank card or in my case a Nando's card. <laughs> it was to hands and uh, it was flexible enough for the job. And you just want to go back and forth, back and forth, squeezing out as much of the air as possible as you place it down on the bed. Now I'm glad this happened because it allows me to demonstrate what you can do if you have this problem but I actually managed to get a little air bubble in the bed as I was placing it down so what you want to do you want to grab a really tiny pin as small as you can find and then just pop the air bubble and you'll hear the air release and then stick it down as much as possible and you should be good to go. Now obviously prevention is better than cure if you can avoid this to begin with then it's much better but if not this is something you can do to get out of trouble. Now this is very important, Build Tech does not like high strength rubbing alcohol, so if you want to clean your bed to make sure your prints stick nicely, then you want to use a maximum of 70% rubbing alcohol. This allows you to clean the surface so your prints stick nicely, but then doesn't actually damage anything in the process. Well there you have it, it's quite easy to change the build surface of your 3D printer. Just watch your fingers like I found out with earlier on in the video, that wasn't very good. So far BuildTac has actually been a really good build surface. I've um, got a lot more consistent prints with both polycarbonate and PLA. One thing to note is you don't want your nozzle too close to the build surface when using BuildTac because it sticks that well that if you have it too close you'll basically weld your part to the surface. Uh, they actually recommend uh, using sort of a thicker business card for if you're using polycarbonate and uh, for PLA you just standard paper size is pretty good. The eagle eyed amongst you will probably notice in the next few videos is that now the surface is an official build tack one rather than the Polymaker branded one that came with the spool of filament. Yeah, I had the part stick that well that I tried to get it off with the Stanley blade I used to sort of scrape all the stuff off the bed and cut into it like an idiot. So don't do that. 
But other than that, I'm finding this surface really, really good. I'm going to be continuing to use this for the foreseeable future, I think. But that's about it for this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I shall see you next time. Ta-da!